when you have failures in this aircraft, the failures are classified by the ECAM. It's one of the things that makes the ECAM unique. Because you see, having multiple failures means that the pilots would have to judge which failure is the most dangerous, which one poses the greatest threat. Chances are, if we have structural damage to the aircraft, it's going to trigger an array of different failures, such as the failures we saw on the Qantas aircraft, the 380, where the inboard engine blew up in flight. Failure classifications means that the ECAM has prioritized every single failure against each other and are able to prioritize the ones with the greatest threat to safety first and the other ones putting them below to give the best chance for successful outcome. Let's face it, nowadays aircraft are so complex and so integrated when it comes to systems, sensors, etc. Although we have a good understanding of all the systems and everything around the aircraft and how it works, we are no longer the best qualified people to judge how each one of these failures may impact safety on the aircraft. This is now in the hands of the engineers and the people that designed the aircraft. And by building this logic, this mental image into the computer, into the ECAM, the ECAM is able to take that knowledge from the people who designed it and prioritize every failure scenario against each other. Here are the five levels of the failure classification as per Airbus. The lowest level, if you will, is not really a failure. It's information processed to you and it's called memos. Memos will show up right here in the bottom right corner of the engine warning display. It shows information. It recalls normal automatic selection of functions which are temporarily used, such as wing anti-icing is on, engine anti-icing is on, APU is on. A memo does not trigger any all warning, nor does it trigger any visual warnings or caution. Everything is normal. Green, amber, or magenta messages will show on the engine warning display as messages. One level up is called advisories. Advisories are parameters where information is not yet outside its normal band, but it is increasing, it's going at a rate which is not common. Consider this a pre-warning to a caution or an actual warning. Advisories are supposed to get the crew's attention. Advisories are system parameters monitored by the system which you need to draw your attention to. It will automatic, when an advisory is triggered, call up the relevant system page below and then show the affected parameter pulsating in green. Let's say, for example, you have unusual vibrations on an engine, which could indicate an impending engine failure. This vibration might trigger an advisory first and will bring up the engine system display to show the vibration pulsating. Pilots can then monitor the situation, but are not to take action based on advisories. No all warnings for advisories. The advisory indication here, ADV, will show up in the intersecting lines on the engine warning display to show pilots that there is an advisory if the system display cannot be brought up automatically. And then we move to the three levels of the actual failure, starting with the lowest level, which is level one. A level one failure is an amber caution, which requires the crew's monitoring ability. Only monitoring, no action. Level one failures are failures that lead to the loss of redundancy, or system degradation. That means you haven't lost the system completely. You may have lost the backup system or you may have had a system that degraded. Caution messages, amber messages are shown on the ECAM with a single line right here, 
and generally does not have a procedure or anything for the pilots to do its information. A level one does not trigger an oral warning or visual alert on a master warning or master caution. It just comes up right there. If you have a failure that's a little bit more severe, it will be a level two failure. A level two failure is also an amber caution, but this comes with an oil single chime and a master caution light in front of the pilot being steady amber. An oil single chime is just a ding, and that draws the attention of the crew. Awareness is required, but does not need immediate action. It should be handled in a timely manner. This is caused by a system failure without any direct consequence to the aircraft flight safety. So we lose the system in this case, but if it doesn't directly affect safety, it's a level two amber caution. Master caution light is steady. We'll get a caution message, as you see right here, and we will probably get a few action lines for us to turn off a system or to engage another system in its placement. The system which has the failure is automatically brought up on the lower ECAM display. And then there's the highest level, which is a level three. A level three is a red warning. Configuration of failures requires immediate action by the crew. Aircraft is in a dangerous condition configuration or flight limits are exceeded or we have a system failure that affects flight safety. This triggers a master warning red light in front of the pilots together with a continuous repetitive chime over the loudspeaker or if it's a stall or an overspeed, a synthetic voice over the loudspeaker such as stall, stall, stall. This requires the crew's immediate action because flight safety is affected. It will automatically bring up the relevant system display if it's a failure in a system and will trigger here a red warning on the end warning display, a red title with action lines in blue below for the pilot monitoring to follow as soon as the pilot flying has the situation under control and calls for ECAM actions. 